Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a video on face masks. Um, as you know in the past I've done quite a few videos on sort of weird, strange, kind of unusual face masks, you know the ones you peel off your face, rubberizing masks, and basically masks that you wouldn't find, you know, at just a normal store. So I was looking for some new brands to try out and I came across this brand, um, Japanese brand called DHC which is quite easy to get hold of in the UK and um, they have a website and they also sell it at um, Beauty Mart in Harvard Nichols in London but um, I really want to try their face mask um, because they're really really affordable I think this was under 10, definitely under £10, I think it was £8 for five sheet masks which are really hard to find not many places in the UK sell sheet masks and what sheet mask basically is is that it's it's like a mask, it kind of makes you look like some sort of serial killer or something. It's um a mask you put on your face with little eye holes cut out and it's basically um infused with skincare or treatments for your skin and it just brightens the complexion overall. I don't have any problem problems with pigmentation. I don't really get pigmentation, but what I can get quite a lot is sunspots or freckles, um because even if I go in the sun for 15 minutes or 5 minutes or 1 second, my freckles will instantly show up. And I do like freckles, but they're mostly just caused from sun damage, so they're not really na natural freckles. Um, so I really don't like getting them, so I always try and get rid of them um, as often as I can. So I use a lot of um, skin brightening products, glycolic acids, um, brightening masks, um, just a lot of exfoliating, natural exfoliating products. So I thought this would be nice to use in conjunction with my skincare and also because it's such an affordable price, you know, I wouldn't worry if it didn't work or if I didn't like it because I'm not spending a ton. So the first uh, ingredient which I was quite impressed with was sodium PCA and basically what that does, it helps your skin maintain moisture. It's a lot like hyaluronic acid um, which is also found naturally in your skin but you can add it in from other um, skincare products. So it basically um, helps your skin retain wa um, moisture, water and it gives more of a youthful plumped up appearance. So that's one of the main ingredients which is proven to work. A lot of other skincare brands have it in and it's a good ingredient to have. Um, there's a couple of ingredients in here which aren't uh, necessarily good for the skin or they're not proven to be bad. But if you're if you're into natural skincare products, this is definitely not a natural product. You know, it's a mixture of science and nature. It's not going to be that natural product. There are going to be some bits that you are ingredients that you aren't really sure about. So one of them was um pentaline glycol, if that if I'm saying that right. Pentaline, yeah, pentaline and booty, butylene glycol, and they're derived from petroleum, which is basically a conditioning agent for um, gels or creams or moisturisers. So that's there as well. Whether that's good or bad is, you know, up to scientists. You know, that's not. It's not up to. I can't say it's good or bad because obviously I don't have the um, materials to do the research. Um, another, um, another um, ingredient is the. Morus alba root extract and that's basically part of the mulberry um, plant or flower whatever it is and that protects your skin from free radical damage which can destroy collagen in the skin and that can you know lead to wrinkles so it's going to protect from environmental um, environmental pollution anything bad in the skin it's going to help repair the skin so that's really really good that it has that in and it also um, whitens the skin as well, which basically means um, even out the skin. Um, the main ingredient, which is you know really um, put on the front of the packaging here, which they're really trying to promote, is the um, alpha. Um, I can't, you know, I can't even say this. And I know someone's going to comment on this video like, oh, you can't say it," but I just can't say it. Okay, right. Alpha are button, button, alpha. Arbutin. Okay, alpha arbutin. I'm really like a thick when it comes to pronouncing things because my mind just, you know, I'm probably dyslexic or something. But anyway, alpha arbutin. And um, what this does is eliminate age spots, which is what a main ingredient is what I'm looking for. And there's so many products on the market, very high end products actually, that have this ingredient in. So that's why they really try and, you know, promote it on the front that it has that ingredient in because that's the main lightening ingredient. So while I was researching on the internet, there was a lot of proof that this ingredient actually did really work and it, it stops the body um, not producing altogether, but it helps aid the production and slow down the production of melanin, melanin in the skin. 
that's a really hard word to say anyway so it basically stops you getting age spots or discoloration around here um, so it basically helps stop that so it actually actually works you know so that's good that that actually works it also has citric acid in as well which as you know is an AHA um, type of chemical exfoliant so that's going to help turn over the cells um, and that's going to help with the whole uh, smooth appearance even skin it's going to help with that as well and that's everywhere you know a lot of, a lot of skincare brands use citric acid um, and there's loads of other um, ingredients in here which are proven to work so all in all the ingredients look looks amazing on the back um, it doesn't really give you much in information in depth what it does but it just says this soft paper sheet mask hydrates conditions and helps brighten the skin for a more radiant complexion so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my makeup off as you can see I've got some makeup on right now and I'm going to put the mask on for you I'm going to open it up so you can see you know what it looks like when you open it up how easy it is to apply and then you could actually laugh at me while you see what this mask makes me look like um, I'm actually going to probably Skype my husband in a bit and he'll probably be really petrified because <laughs> I'll be like ah anyway I'm just going to go and take my makeup off now see you in a bit so I've just cleansed and toned my face. Now, on the instructions at the back, it did say cleanse your face very thoroughly. So I would recommend um, using a method to take off your makeup and then using a cleanser as well. I use the Shimomura Skin Purifying Cleansing Oil to take off my makeup. And I used wipes to take off my eye makeup. And then I used the Pro Radiance Cream Cleanser by Elemis. And this has white clay in it as well. So I use this... Um, um, and left it on for a minute to basically dissolve all the makeup and then I washed it off and then I went over with the toner and I used this Ollie Henriksen toner just to make sure that everything was you know taken off and um, clean so now I'm just going to open up the packet for the first time never um, used this before so this is what the packet looks like and it has some really cute Japanese instructions on the back and I'm just going to open it so this may get a bit complicated so I'm just going to try and follow the instructions so it comes out like this so it looks like I'm meant to open it up which looks quite complicated So yeah, this is quite complicated. Ah, here we go. So now I can see the mask. So I'm not really sure what to do now. Because I've never done one of these before. So I guess I'm going to start off with the bottom. This is looking very scary already. So it's quite, I'm quite impressed with it because it does stick on quite well compared to the other ones I've tried in the past. I'm just going to make sure that every bit is covered. So yeah, I'm quite happy with, you know, how it stays on. So now I'm just going to wait for 20 minutes and then I'm going to remove it. So I'll see you in a bit. This is, I can't take myself seriously like this. This is way too scary. Okay, anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. So I've just taken the mask off, uh, just this minute. And I'm just going to add, you know, what I liked about the mask and what I didn't like about the mask. Um, one thing that I don't like about sheet masks in general is that you can't really do stuff while they're on. You know, I, I'm not the one to sit down and relax. I like to do stuff, so they do tend to come off quite easily. So that's one of the bad points, but that's just for all sheet masks in general. Um, one thing that I did like is the fact that I could feel it working. You know, 
it wasn't a real like really really tingly sensation but I could definitely feel it in some areas um, and what I like about it as well is that when you put it on your face will suck up um, the um, part that it really needs the most like up here my skin doesn't really need you know the conditioning the um, moisturizing you know, the hydrating whereas down here I could really feel it sucking in the product um, so yeah it was wetter up here but then really dry here so you can tell your skin you know needs you know more attention as well which is good in a way